Welcome, Prada Doodles. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Carrie. Happy Free For All Friday, y'all. What you in the mood for, folks? Hi, Julie, how are you? So did you find it? I sent you a screenshot showing you where the contest information was, but it also will be showing up here in the chat shortly. Monkeys? Which one? Oh, cool. You found it. Cool. I also sent a message about it in the Pride of Doodles chat on Messenger. But some folks have been having a hard time even getting to the chat on Messenger. It's not showing up on a computer anymore. It's only showing up on phones. I don't know why. How's Teresa? How's Maddie? How's Carrie? Well, can you name any monkey songs? Because I can't think of a single one. You're going to have to help me out here. I know I play some of them, but I can't think of any of them. I don't know why. Because I could pull one out of my book if I knew which book it was in, you know? Like, if I even had the first word of a song, it would be helpful. I'm okay, Carrie. How about you? You're okay, too. All right, I, I just looked up monkeys on Carafon. I'm a believer, daydream believer. Last train to Clarksville. I'm not your stepping stone. Well, let's do I'm not your, not your stepping stone. Where is find that, Carrie. Sneaky snake, I didn't even see he had a scone. What you laughing about, TBC? It's in here. <sighs> Cause I'm a believer. Where the heck is I'm not your stepping stone? Oh, I just don't even know. There it is. Not your stepping stone. Oh, uh, I see. Happy Veterans Day to you, Teresa. Are you and Jean veterans? If so, thank you for your service.
and happy Veterans Day to TBC. Any or all monkey songs I care to do. Wow. Wow. Okay, then. but not really a cigar. Hi, Ralph. How are you? Ralph, you're at Panera Bread? We just came from there. And, you know, I have my very own Sip Club VIP tumbler now. I don't even have to destroy the environment with all those plastic cups anymore. I can just go in and refill this anytime I want. Pretty cool, huh? They actually allow you to bring in any reusable cups. We don't have to, we don't have to, to, to use up all that plastic. And we were for a while, and I was feeling guilty about it. You should see the back seat of our car. It is just like a thousand Panera cups. And what's going to happen to those cups? You know, we're going to put them in the recycle bin, but chances are it's not actually going to get recycled. It's going to go to a freaking landfill because only, I think, eight or nine percent of the things that we try to recycle actually get recycled. Isn't that disgusting? So we think we're doing a good service, but really what we need to do is cut down on our use of these single serve plastics. We really do. We really do. Yeah, you can bring in your Tim Horton travel mug. You can bring in anything. If you're a member of their sip club, you can get unlimited beverages. Um, like every two hours you can go in and get more. Any, you know, it's pretty cool in whatever cup you want. I think they, they, they'll even let you bring in like a big gallon jug if you want to fill it up. <laughs> yeah. Where do I get the cup? Well, I'm a member of their Sip Club VIP. They sent me an email and they said, if you come in a certain number of times and then fill out this form... If you're one of the first 2,000 people or whatever, then you'll get it. And I got it, but Carrie didn't. She didn't She didn't get to it in time, and they were already sold out. So, or, you know, given out. But you can get reusable cups anywhere, really. 
Yeah, we just missed you, Ralph. So remember, we're having a coffee chat at Panera this Tuesday at 2 p.m., so that'll be cool. And then in December, instead of coffee chat, we're going to do a brunch chat, and that's going to be on Saturday, December 10th, I believe, at 11 a.m. I think that's what we're going to do, but I'll let you know when it gets closer. Oh, Teresa's dad was a veteran. So, has Stream Elements dropped any information about our giveaway yet? I don't see anything in the chat, but there should be something in the chat soon about our giveaway. Thank you for the bits, Julie. Don't feel bad about bringing in big cups. They don't care. It says right on their website. Uh, Carrie, you remember you read it to me. You said you can bring in um, a reusable container up to a certain amount. I mean, it's like up to a gallon or something. So don't worry about that. I mean, you pay for the sip club, you know. Cool, TBC. Yeah, I was right up to a gallon. So don't feel bad, Ralph. No need. That's how they get people in there, you know, to buy food, spend money. They offer up some, some nice stuff. All right, I got another one in here by the monkeys. Julie wants all monkeys today, so I'm going to do what I can. And um, be watching for the information about the contest, about the giveaway. December has donated a bunch of cool stuff, and our first giveaway is a plushie just like this. A Squishmallow just like this one. Now, it's only two people in the United States because it's going to cost a lot to ship. I'm actually hoping someone local wins so I don't have to pay for shipping because I'm really broke. But if it happens, it happens. If we get a winner across the country, we're going we're gonna to ship it to you. So here's how it works. All you got to do is tap that little unicorn to the left of the chat box. It's on the left of the little place where you write. And then if you look in where place ways you can redeem your pride to doodle points. Here, I'm gonna I'll show you. I'm gonna tap I'm gonna tap the unicorn. I'm gonna show you how this works. Okay, I tap the unicorn. See where it says Chris Pride's rewards? Well, scroll down until you see November raffle ticket. You see it? It's pink. November raffle. Raffle ticket, 500 Pride of Doodle points. Check it out. So anybody can enter. All you got to do is attend my streams and attend them often and collect Pride of Doodle points. The longer you are here on my stream, the more Pride of Doodle points you're going to get. And if you're a subscriber, guess what? You get way more Pride of Doodle points. Subscribers get bonuses up the wazoo. And so it's much more likely that a subscriber who attends my shows very often is going to win this prize. And all prizes, honestly. Because you're going to have more points. More points to spend. You can buy as many tickets as you want. Well, I think up to like a 1,000 or something. But nobody's going to do that. 500 points per ticket as many tickets as you want. So at the end of the month, we'll see who has the most tickets and then they'll be the winner. So what I'm gonna do, every time someone buys a ticket, buys a ticket with their pride to doodle points, it's free y'all, it's not really buying, but for lack of a better word, or should we say redeem, anytime someone redeems a ticket, um, I'll see it, I'll see, oh, there's Julie redeeming one right now. All right, I'm gonna show you exactly what we're gonna do. I'm going to take this slip of paper right here. I'm going to grab a pen and I'm going to write Julie's name on it. Julie. Julie just redeemed a ticket for the November raffle. All right. And now I'm going to fold it up just like so, just like so. And I'm going to drop it into the fishbowl. Julie, congratulations. You are my first ticket redeemer. So, if nobody else buys a ticket, you're going to win. 
But I suspect other folks are going to redeem tickets and lots of them. So you're going to want to attend all my streams. Well, you're going to be building up points just by just by attending my streams. And as a subscriber, you're getting a lot more points than non subscribers. OK, and um, I've added a new stream. So you're going to get another probably hour a week that you can collect points. And that is going to be every Tuesday. We're going to have story time Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Central. And I'm going to be reading from Dada Veda's memoir. I don't know how much, a chapter or two, about an hour or so. And um, we'll see how that goes. And when that book is done, we'll, we'll pick a different book. And I'll get your input on what book that'll be. We'll have, we'll have options. Carrie can purchase lots of tickets, but she's not going to. She's not interested. So you don't have to worry about Carrie beating you. But you might have to worry about Crystal beating you, Julie, because she's got a lot of points. Now, I don't know if she's going to want to want to play or not, but it. I looked. I can see how many points everybody has. And um, I looked yesterday, and it said, Julie, you were at the very top, that you had more points than anybody. So I don't know if it was lying to me or what, but um, I don't think it was all accurate because it told me the points that it said Carrie had was way less than what she said she has. So I don't know what that means. I don't know why, but... So we're just gonna all do the best we can, and y'all can uh, y'all can can get as many tickets as you want. Just make sure you keep collecting those pride doodle points. All right, Teresa's redeeming a ticket. All right, Teresa. Teresa, folding it up, folding it up into a little purple square. All right, here we go. That's two tickets in the fishbowl, y'all. What do you think? Exciting stuff, huh? You want to see what you might win? I know I already showed you. I'll show you again. This Pride Doodle mascot, Rainbow Squishmallow, and he is very squishy. Very squishy. Makes a good pillow, makes a good friend. All right, did anybody else... Redeem a ticket. Aw, Jean's a veteran too. Happy Veterans Day to Jean. Thank you for your service. Carry a 72,000 printed little points. Holy cow. Oh, Ralphie's taking his daughter-in-law out for dinner tonight. Happy birthday to your daughter-in-law, Ralph. Julie, you're telling me you don't have any points to buy another ticket? You only you were down to 500 points? Wow, I wonder how that happened. Oh, you did miss out on like three streams of... Um, Fortnite. Now, if we do stream Fortnite again, that'll be a big chance to get points, but um, I don't think we're going to do it because only like one or two people are showing up whenever we do that. And it's just, it's just a big hassle. So, but I'll let you know. I mean, if we do, I'll let you know, maybe once in a while. Ralphie's got 13,000 points. Hey, there's Taffeet. Welcome, Taffeet. We were just talking about my contest. We've got a November giveaway. Somebody's going to win the Squishmallow. Unfortunately, it's only U.S., only in the United States, because I can't afford to ship it to Guatemala, as you know. I can't afford to ship it out of the country. I don't even know if I can afford to ship this sucker in the country. But if somebody across the country wins it, they're going to, I'm going to ship it to you somehow. But I'm kind of hoping a local wins, you know? Know what I'm saying? But whoever wins, wins. I'm not rigging it. Don't you worry. It's all about the pride of doodle points. Taffeet, you're redeeming a ticket, even though I can't ship it to you. Poop. All right, I owe you 500 pride of doodle points, Taffeet. Let's see if there's a way that I can do that. I know I've seen December do that give pride of doodle points back. Let's see if I can figure it out. Channel points. Let's see, is it down here? 
I don't know how December did that, honestly. R was giving points back to folks. Is it under rewards? No. Channel points. I don't see any way to do it. I don't know how she was doing that. I guess I'm going to have to ask her. Um, December, you're not here, are you? Well, I'm sorry about that, Taff. I feel bad now. So did it drop any information about it in the chat? Because I had it turned on, but I haven't seen it yet. Let's see. I'm going to look. Let's look over here in the timers. November giveaway. Let's just do this. I have not seen anything about the November giveaway. Okay, I'm going to shut it off, and I'm going to turn it back on. And let's do this. Well, let's see if that works. See if it shows up. Information about the giveaway in the chat. I don't know. Oh, that's right. December had an appointment. Carrie says, I don't know how to do it either. I searched and searched. All right. Well, when December gets here, we will ask her how to, how to give you your points back. And... Rewards, no. Channel points... One moment. Oh, there just isn't much room there, is it? Creator Dashboard, Stream Manager, okay. <sighs> Taff, I know you have a U.S. address, but it doesn't work because I sent you some swag and it never reached you. So I'm kind of leery about sending something to Florida, you know, when you aren't in Florida. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how that... It's very strange. I'd never heard of such a thing. So I wasn't really surprised when it didn't reach you. But that would be sad, you know, if we shipped it and then it didn't get to you, you know. All right. So, so far, looks like we have two entries in the giveaway. All right, I'm going to put I'm going to put the slips right here. Now, if somebody redeems a ticket and I don't see it, I miss it in the chat, just just tell me, just point it out cuz you know, sometimes I miss things in the chat. I don't mean to. What? Carrie said, "OMG, come on, Chris. What? What did I do?" Oh, it normally does work. You think that, like, I didn't have the right name on it? Oh. Okay. Hmm. I think it was. I think it was your dad's name that you gave me. Huh. But we could try it again. I should I should try sending you some swag again. All right, we should probably do some music, huh? 
Yeah, weird shit does happen. I think I think that I should see if I have any global stamps. I might have a global stamp downstairs. If I do, I'll try sending you some more stickers. And we'll see. We'll see if that works. You just message me exactly how it needs to be written on the envelope to, to work. And we'll try that. All right, I don't think I did I'm a Believer yet. Julie wants monkeys. A big monkey show today. I think because I use so many tracks these days, my instrument plan is going down the crapper, y'all. I'm turning into a shitty musician. So, I don't know. What are we going to do about that? I don't know. <laughs> Donna Veda, how are you? Did you see I picked a day and time for story time? We're going to have story time Tuesdays. Starting this, thir this Tuesday, story time at 12 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Central. And we're starting with your book, Donna Veda, your memoir. To Brooklyn, I mean, from Brooklyn to Benares and back. We are going to be reading that on Tuesdays at 12 p.m. Eastern. And discussing it a bit, too. So, Donna, you are definitely welcome. And you could even be there to answer questions if you like. That would be cool. December's here! How was your appointment, December? Check it out. I've already got 
Two entries in the November giveaway. Check it out. Teresa and Julie both redeemed their Pride Doodle points for a ticket in the November raffle. December has graciously donated some amazing items like this Squishmallow Mellow right here. Now, you're not getting this one. This one's mine. Mine to hug. But whoever gets the most Pride Doodle points, whoever gets the most tickets has the most chance of winning. I mean, it's random. I'm going to pick it out of that fishbowl, you know. So, redeem those points for tickets. And... Somebody will win a prize. How far did I get in the book? Probably three or four chapters, I would say. I usually take it with me when I go to donate platelets, and I will get some reading done, but they're always harassing me, so I, I can get some reading done, but I get distracted so easily. So, and But I love to read, and I really want to read your book, and I thought, well, this is a really great way because I'm committed. I'm committing to it, and I'm doing it live on camera, and I'm reading it out loud, which I love to do. And um, not only, you know, will I benefit from the information, but so will the pride of doodles who attend my stream. You know? Pretty cool, huh? Like it. And once we finish Dada's book, we will come up with another book to read. I think it'll be fun. December got vaccinated. So did you get the one that covers all the, all the strains? That's the one I got on Monday. And um, I didn't really get very sick this time, but I was wiped out. I mean, we went to bed at like 8, 9 o'clock a couple days in a row. I was achy and tired, but that was about it. So each, each vaccination that I get, each booster that I get, the less ill I feel. But it, you feel it, though. It's achiness. It's tiredness. But Cool. Yay. Me and December are all vaxxed up this week. All right. So Julie wants lots and lots of monkeys tunes today. So that's... That's where we're at right now. Let's see what else we have. I just played a couple on the uke really badly. So I think I'm going to just switch to tracks because why the heck not? Let's, let's do What Am I Doing Hanging Around? It's such a lovely monkey song, and a lot of people don't even know it. Let's try it. Now, feel free to make requests, everybody. Julie, Julie requested all monkeys, but y'all can request stuff too. Don't, don't worry. Hold on. Check, 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 check. <sighs> check, check. Check, check, check. Testing. Check, check, check. Oh, that's better. Hurt my hand, but that's what it takes, apparently, with a mixer like mine. We just do what we can. We just do what we can. All right. Let's try that. Just a loud mouth Yankee, I went down to Mexico. Didn't have much time to spend, about a week or so. Very lightly took advantage of a girl who loved me so. Found myself a thinking when the time had come to go. What am I doing hanging? I should be on that train and gone I should be riding on that train to San Antonio What am I doing hanging around? She took me to the garden just for a little walk Yeah, Julie, don't do that. Let me talk to you about it first. Don't, don't, don't pay $12 for the month. Don't do it. Please. She told me that she loved me, not with words, but with a kiss. 
And like a fool, I kept on thinking of a train I could not miss. What am I doing hanging around? I should be on that train and gone. I should be riding on that train to San Antonio. What am I doing hanging around? Well, it's been a year or so, and I want to go back again. And if I get the money, well, I'll ride the same old train. But I guess your chance is come a once, and boy, I sure missed mine. And still I can't stop thinking when I hear some weird song crying. Oh yeah, just keep your two free months, that's all. What am I doing hanging around? I should be on that train and gone. I should be riding on that train to San Antonio. What am I doing hanging around? What am I doing hanging around? I should be on that train and gone. I should be riding on that train to San Antonio. What am I doing hanging round? What am I doing hanging round? I should be on that train and gone. Woo! I should be riding on that train to San Antonio. What am I doing hanging round? Okay, so don't pay $12. Just don't pay $12. Do they give you two months for free? Because, see, we got several months for free. We got, like, three months, three or four months, I think, the first time. And then when we went to cancel, it's like, hey, we'll give you a couple more free if you stay. We're like, okay. And then I went to cancel and said, hey, we'll give you a couple more free if you stay. And it just keeps doing that. And now I think it's at a point where when this time it ends, I'm going to have to pay, like, $9 for the month. But still... I have a car and I can go there every day. You don't, Julie. So just get the free thing and then cancel. Cancel and then, you know, it, of course, if they offer you more free months, just keep accepting it as long as it's free. But you got no, no reason to pay $12 for a subscription that you can't use, you know? You don't have a vehicle. You can't just go to Panera every day, you know? You know what I'm saying? But it, it will behoove you to get the free trial because then you don't have to pay anything when you go to Coffee Chat. You can sit there and drink free coffee the whole time. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah, definitely cancel before they start charging you $12 a month because no, you don't want to pay that kind of money for it when you won't even barely use it. It would cost, if you're only going to Panera once a month, for example, that'd be a really expensive coffee. $12. Don't do it. <laughs> so yes, just keep it until it's getting close to the end of your free trial and then we'll deal, deal with it then. You made me so nervous there for a minute, Julie. I thought you actually paid $12. <laughs> and I know, I know how, how tight money is for all of us right now. So I was very worried that you just wasted 12 bucks. So I'm glad you didn't. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that's scary, TBC. Scary stuff. The VAC nurse told December that people who had gotten both the flu and COVID vaccines opted to one at a time. Oh, well, I guess I'm just special getting both at once. I got double shotted on Monday and I'm just glad it's all over. You know, I'm feeling a lot better. Teresa, you haven't talked to Maddie yet because she doesn't have any minutes. I don't know what's going on with that. What about Randy? Have you talked to Randy? Does he have minutes? Because I know Meta's going to want to get in on this contest. I hope, I hope she has a way of finding out about it. But if she's not here to collect Pride Doodle points, she's not going to have a chance of winning. 
The only folks who are going to have a chance of winning these prizes are the loyal pride doodles like you. Like the ones that are here right now. You know what I'm saying? That's right. The more you watch my stream and collect those points, the better chance you're going to have of winning the prizes. All right. More monkeys for Julie because I don't see any other requests. All right, Julie, so you just put that on your calendar, January 9, to get in the app and cancel. you got to have the Panera app, too, to be able to do all this. So make sure you put that Panera app on your phone. Because that's also the only way that you can get those $5.99 duets. It's a half a sandwich and a cup of soup for $5.99, which, and it's clean food, and it's cheaper than just about anywhere else, you know, and healthier, too, than, you know, fast food. So, but they don't have it on their regular menu. It's like you pay outrageous amounts for their food unless you know these insider tricks stick with me julie <laughs> cheap food cheap bevies all right here we go stream elements is finally getting its poop in a group it says who's ready for a giveaway our fabulous mod december has generously donated donated some very exciting gifts to be raffled off we are aiming for one prize a month our first giveaway prize is this lovely rainbow squishmallow, just like the one you've seen me hugging on my stream, like I'm doing right now. All I got to do to enter, attend shows, collect points, and then redeem them for tickets. To redeem them for tickets, tap the little unicorn to the left of your chat box. Scroll down till you see November raffle ticket. Tap it, redeem those points, and when I see you get a ticket, I will write your name on a slip and put it in the fishbowl. Right now we got Julie and Teresa in my filthy fishbowl. I should have cleaned this off before I grabbed it, but <sighs> alas, I did not. Oh, well, Randy doesn't have his phone with him all, all during the day. I thought they both lived there in the same place. I'm so confused. Julie has the app. Okay, good. All right, more monkeys. More monkeys. So good luck, everybody. Good luck. And thank you to December. It was her idea, because she's got all these really cool things that she wants to donate to the Pride of Doodles. Super fun. Did I get mine from Amazon? I believe I did. I believe I did get them from Amazon. Yes, from you, Julie. <laughs> Julie, this was a Twitch tip gift. You sent me this <laughs> from my Amazon wish list. You knew that. You knew that. <laughs> Y'all are silly. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. I know you want to hear that one, Julie. I know you do. What's it called? Just the monkeys? December got hers from Amazon as well. Theme from the monkeys. Here we go. For Julie! Walking down the street Get the funniest looks from Everyone we meet Hey, hey, we're the monkeys People say we monkey around But we're too busy singing To put anybody down We go wherever we want Do what we like to do We don't have time to get restless there's always something new. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. People say we monkey around. We're too busy singing to put anybody down. We're just trying to be friendly. Come and watch us sing and play. We're the young generation. And we got something to say. Oh. 
Anytime or anywhere Just look over your shoulder There's Ruth Ginsburg standing there Hey, hey, we're the monkeys People say we monkey around But we're too busy singing To put anybody down Hey, hey, we're the Prada Doodles Woo! Cheer dancing! Come on! Move your body! Move it! Hey, hey, we're the pride of doodles. People say we pride all around. <laughs> we're too busy singing to put anybody down. We don't pride all around. Friendly, come and watch us sing and play. We're the young generation. We've got some to say. Monkeys, hey hey, we're the monkeys. Hey hey, we're the monkeys. Whoo! I am one. Hot mouse today, y'all. I am the first to admit it. <laughs> y'all chair dance with me. I can see it. <laughs> Ooh, cool, Julie. Awesome, awesome. I love gift cards. They're so much fun. Um, almost every time I donate platelets, I get a gift card. And sometimes I pick Amazon, sometimes I pick Marshalls. Um, last time I picked Walmart because I was able to use it on groceries. They just added Walmart, so that was a blessing, let me tell you. What cracked me up? Weren't you listening? Didn't you hear what I sung? I tried to say, I tried to sing, hey, hey, we're the pride of doodles. And then I said, people say we pride all around. And it just sounded so dorky, I could not... Stop laughing. <laughs> so what do people say we do around that would actually fit in that word? Because we could we could change the words and be hey hey we're the pride of doodles. <laughs> but we gotta we gotta change some of those other words to make them fit because we don't we don't pride all around. <laughs> I mean we could say we pride around, I suppose. That would work. Hey single cat lady from Iowa. Is that crystal by any chance? I think it is. And her cat, Daisy, too. Crystal, did you hear about the contest? The giveaway? We got a November giveaway, courtesy of December. We are raffling off a Squishmallow just like this one. Pride of Doodle mascot, y'all. So, how do you enter? You gotta keep collecting those Pride of Doodle points. To redeem them for a ticket, tap that little unicorn. Tap the unicorn and scroll down till you see November... Ticket? November, what is it? I gotta look now. November raffle ticket. November raffle ticket. You can purchase as many tickets as you want. If you've got the pride doodle, doodle points to spare, you can purchase a whole bunch of raffle tickets. And every time you get one, I'm gonna write your name on a little slip and I'm gonna put it in this fishbowl. We've got two entries already. Julie and Teresa have both entered today. And this is going to go on through November. Stomp around, jazz around, fart around, yeah. There's all sorts of words we could use. I just couldn't think quickly enough on my feet. So, oh, there's Crystal. She bought a raffle ticket. All right. Whoop, whoop. All right, I'm going to write your name on this ticket. Crystal. See, check it out. Crystal. Folding it up. Putting it in there, that's three entries we have in the contest so far. <sighs> now, the way that I have it set up this way means you're only going to be able to purchase the tickets while I'm live, okay? I think, I'm pretty sure, I think that you only get to, to do things like this when I'm, when I'm live and when I'm using OBS. Now, on Tuesdays, when I'm doing story time, you will be able to collect 
pride of doodle points throughout my entire stream, but I will very likely not be up here in my studio, so I will not be using OBS. Now, stream elements will still be around, and you'll still be able to collect prior to doodle points by watching me, um, but you probably won't be able to purchase any tickets during my story time stream, okay? So I'm just letting you know that you want to buy as many tickets as, as you want during these music streams, okay? Crystal got two tickets! Two tickets! All right. Now, of course, whoever has the most tickets has the biggest chance of winning, but it's still random because I'm going to shake that sucker up and I'm going to reach in and I'm just going to grab one randomly. So even if you only have one ticket, you could still win, okay? But if you have a ton, your chances are higher, don't you think? I do. All right, Crystal. Another ticket for Crystal. Let's just put the fish bowl right here. Now I'm gonna have to get out some Windex and clean that thing though, aren't I? There we go. Cha-ching. Crystal said I got two more. You got three tickets. Ooh. Three tickets for Crystal. Well, this could go on all day, couldn't it? <laughs> That's okay. It's furrying there. Light snow. Oh, flurries. 26 degrees. Wow, it's cold in Iowa today. It's not that cold here. And you know what? It was 75 degrees here yesterday, which is unheard of for mid-November in Michigan. Like, we should have a bunch of snow by now, you know? Look at that. Third ticket for Crystal. Going in the fishbowl. Cha-ching. You are definitely a red state. I know that. Our state of Michigan has been red for the past 40 years. Well, it turned blue this week. Woohoo! Yay, us. Yeah, and our reproductive rights are still intact. <laughs> so far, so good. Now, one thing I heard is that uh, Missouri legalized weed. Missouri, I was so surprised. I was hoping Meta would be here to discuss it with us, but she's not. Holy cow, Julie. You had 10 tickets in a drawing. Only one other person entered with one ticket and they won the hotel stay. Well, that would, that would just infuriate me. <laughs> but it's the luck of the draw, isn't it? Freed so. I know, I looked on the list. Iowa was not one of them. Poor Crystal. So, I guess we're just going to continue with the monkeys until I hear otherwise. How about Daydream Believer? Oh, I could hide neath the wings of the bluebird as she sings. The six o'clock alarm would never ring. But it rings and I rise, wipe the sleep out of my eyes. My shaven razor's cold and it stings. Tear up sleepy jeans, oh what can it mean to a daydream believer and a I'm coming queen You once thought of me As a white knight on his steed Now you know how happy I can be And our good time starts and ends Without dollar one to spend but how much, baby, do we really need? Cheer up, sleepy jeans. Oh, what can it mean 
to a daydream believer and a homecoming queen. Cheer up, sleepy dream. Oh, what can it be to a daydream believer and a homecoming queen? Those arms and legs, you can do it. Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Oh, what can it mean to a daydream believer and a homecoming queen? Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Oh, what can it mean to a daydream believer and a homecoming queen? I don't know about you, but I'm getting a workout. Sure am. Teresa redeemed a raffle ticket. Ticket number two for Teresa. Now, I'm not going to be able to keep track of how many y'all get, but to, right now I can. I can remember because, you know, that's like five right there or something. Okay. Teresa. Another ticket for Teresa. Going in the fishbowl. Yeah, conversion therapy should be illegal. Of course it should be illegal. Of course. 31 states it's legal in. Ridiculous. And people say we want special rights. My God. Disgusting. Disgusting. All right, Teresa's requesting Dolly. Crystal said, Harry Styles, not watermelon. I don't know what that means. Crystal, sometimes you baffle me. <laughs> Please explain. All right, we're going to do Jolene. Jolene. On the guitar. Oh, you're asking for a Harry Styles song, but not Watermelon Kisses or something like that? No, Watermelon Sugar. Not Watermelon Sugar. Yeah, I don't really like Watermelon Sugar all that much. I don't think I know any Harry Styles songs, though. Couldn't name a single one. I didn't even know he did that one, honestly. All right, so we're all, we're all caught up on raffle tickets and we're all caught up on requests right now y'all remember if you want to win this prize it would behoove you to subscribe to my channel you don't have to but it would behoove you because you get a lot more pride digital points when you're a subscriber and it would behoove you to attend all my streams and stay the whole time then you can just spend all your points on tickets you know what i mean if you want to no pressure There's Carrie with a watermelon. Watermelon sugar. Watermelon sugar. Hi. Watermelon sugar. Watermelon sugar. Hi. Jolene, Jolene, 
Four up high like that. I have it written here, cable four, but then underneath it it says no cable is butter. And I usually do it no cable, but I thought, you know what? I'll try the cable four again. I like it. I like it. All right, what's going on here in the chat? Agree, TBC. <sighs> All right. Should we do another Dolly Parton song? Teresa? I could do Coat of Many Colors. Did some monkeys, doing some dolly. What else are you in the mood for, folks? Got a few tickets in the fishbowl. Somebody's going to win a Squishmallow. Oh, yeah. Somebody's going to win a Squishmallow like this one. Oh no, I smell, I smell cat pee. Where's it coming from? Oh. 
can't even. I can't even. I don't know what he's doing, but probably destroying all of my stuff with his piss. Damn it. It shouldn't smell like cat piss in my studio, y'all. It shouldn't. Really don't even know what to do. Oh, thanks, TBC. Tainted love or sweet dreams for Crystal. Alrighty, alrighty. sucks because you know I found that pile of poop in the hallway on my rug I had to throw the rug out because he had peed and poop all over it and I sprayed cleaning stuff all over the floor down this hallway which is just raw exposed wood and uh, I'm gonna have to do it again I guess to determine because he's obviously pissing on the, in the hallway and I'm smelling it I mean I hope that that's all he's doing is pissing in that same spot not coming in here and spraying all over my equipment this is bringing me down, y'all. Smell of cat pee brings me down. All right, so let's tell a story. Through song, Dolly Parton's story, Coat of Many Colors. Every piece was small And I didn't have a coat And it was way down in the fall Mama sewed the rags together So when every piece was loud She made my coat of many colors That I was so proud of As she sewed, she told a story From the Bible she'd read about a coat of many colors Joseph wore and then she said Perhaps this coat will bring you good luck and happiness And I just couldn't wait to wear it Mama blessed it with a kiss My coat of many colors that my mama made for me As I could be in my coat of many colors My mama made for me So with patches on my bridges And holes in both my shoes In my coat of many colors I hurried off to school Just to find the others laughing Making fun of me in my coat of many colors, my mama made for me. And I couldn't understand it. Oh, I couldn't understand it. For I felt I was rich in my Told them of the love my mama sewed in every stitch And I told them all the story Mama told me while she sewed How my coat of many colors Was 
worth more than all their clothes But they didn't understand it And they tried to make them see What is only poor Only if they choose to be Now I know we had no money But I was rich as I could be in my coat of many colors My mama made for me Made just for me Yeah, that was a double shot of Dolly Right there for Teresa In Carson City, Nevada Where it is cold and snowy Right now it looked really pretty, those pictures that you sent in my Discord, Teresa. Pretty, pretty snow in Carson City, Nevada this week. Krista, your doctor's office is closed. So is mine. They close at noon every Friday. <sighs> There's a kitten out there. Why don't you bring that kitten in? Maybe Daisy needs a little friend, a little companion to hang out with while you're at work, Crystal. Wouldn't that be lovely? I think it would. All right, so you wanted either Tainted Love or Sweet Dreams, right? Let's do, let's do Sweet Dreams. I gotta look it up on tabs though, don't I? Oh, everybody's closed for Veterans Day. That's right. We didn't get mail either. No mail on Veterans Day. So thank you to those who have fought for our freedom. Veterans <laughs> Sweet dreams, not wheat dreams, sweet dreams. Wheat dreams are made of this. Nope, nope, don't make me pay for you. I want the free version only. Tricky, tricky. Sweet dreams and made of this. All right, Crystal in Sioux City, Iowa. This one's for you. Oh, 
hold your head up, moving on, keep your head up, moving on, hold your head up, moving on, keep your head up, moving on, hold your head up, moving on, keep your head up, moving on, hold your head up, moving on, keep your head up. plan, another source, another something. <sighs> so like every dispo went up just today, like by exorbitant amount, it's like everything is just going up. So now I can't even get f cheap weed anymore. Oh man, there goes my mood. There goes my mood, y'all. Dude, weed is a really good natural mood stabilizer for this bipolar chick, let me tell you. And um, without my weed... Oh, man, I get irritable. Irritable. And mean. Julie's redeeming another ticket. And Teresa wants deck seven. Another ticket for Julie. Julie. Going in the fishbowl. Did I miss anybody? Crystal is not sure I want two daisies. Well, you would never have two daisies because no two cats are alike. They all have their own distinct personalities. So you would have one daisy and another cat who would have a different name entirely. And they would be best buds. So they almost doubled in price, all of them. That is disgusting, man. Disgusterino. I can't accept life on life's terms. It's too hard. Yeah, we'll try those. We'll try them. We'll try them.
So where were we? It's so freaking quiet in here, y'all. It's so quiet. Let's do another monkey song for Jules. Yeah, dance with me Take the last train to Chuckersville <laughs> Meet you at the station You can be there by 4.30 Cause I made your reservation Now don't be slow Come on down to Chuckersville Oh no 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 Cause I'm leaving in the morning And I must see you again We'll have one more night together Till the morning brings my train and I must go Oh no 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 Oh no 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 And I don't know if I'm ever coming home Take the last train to Clarksville And I'll wait at the station We'll have time for coffee flavor kisses and a better conversation oh, oh. oh no 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 Oh no 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 You can babble if you want to There's Julie babbling Take the last train to Clarksville Well I must hang up the phone I can't hear you in this noisy railroad station all alone. I'm feeling low. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. And I don't know if I'm ever coming home. Take the last train to Clarksville I'll meet you at the station You can be here by 4.30 Cause I made your reservation Now don't be slow Oh no 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 Oh no 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 And I don't know if I'm ever coming home Last train to Clarksville Take the last train to Clarksville Take the last train to Clarksville I've seen all the grocery prices go up, Julie. It's abominable. It's horrible. It's horrifying. I was at Walmart yesterday. I can tell you everything has gone through the freaking roof and it sucks ass. Everything is outrageously priced. Everything. I don't know what we're going to do. You, you're lucky your butter only went up $1.50, honestly, because that's very little compared to most shit I've seen. Enjoy your lunch, Teresa. I need a quick break. I need to find the source of the smell, unfortunately. Let's watch this video of Dada Veda and me. Be right back. We don't need no corporations, do we? We don't need no exploitation, do we? We want our right to live and thrive Just as long as we're alive We don't need no corporations, do we? 
can vote for the president, but not the boss. That's not democracy, that's my loss. Here's something better, you'll one day agree. Let's run everything cooperatively. Let the workers in a place guide their fate. Give them a voice, give them a stake. They'll become the owners and managers too. Prosperity will flow to me and you. That's why we don't need no corporations, do we? We don't need no exploitation, do we? We want our right to live and thrive just as long as we're alive. We don't need no corporations, do we? Time to kick the traders from the temple. Let's do it. Let's bid farewell to the wheeler dealers. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Let's watch the tide of cooperation open the door to our liberation. We don't need no corporations, do we? We don't need no speculation, do we? We don't need no exploitation, do we? We don't need no corporations, do we? Dang, I was too slow. Sorry, folks. You must be so bored right now. Did y'all leave? So, I sprayed the floor some more. I don't see anything, but I sure do smell it around here somewhere. And I'm diffusing some eucalyptus. Because I gotta cover up that horrible smell. It's driving me crazy. And I'm already smelling eucalyptus instead, so we're good. We're good. No, we stopped Imperfect a long time ago, Julie. They stopped offering us the discount and we could no longer do it. And then they stopped delivering. <laughs> but they stopped delivering after they stopped the discount. But we did, when it was cheap, we used it for quite a while and we did great. We still have some stuff in our freezer from it, really. Yeah, they stopped this area, so they won't deliver to you either. And it's very unaffordable now. There's no longer that 33% discount for low-income folks like us. So, it's no longer affordable. So, I wouldn't even bother.
trying to get it back because they don't deliver to you and they're too expensive. So, oh wells. Yeah, they've gone up everywhere, Julie. Meyer, Kroger, Walmart, all the places. All the places. Well, would you look at that? We're at 283 followers. Think we'll make it to 300 someday? We could have a party if we do. Rafa just hit 1,000 followers. He's is blowing up. Oh my goodness, Janelle, she's got like 150 billion followers. Holy cow. Everybody, everybody from the platform that shall be named who has come on over to Twitch, they are just blowing up over here. They're doing so good. They all have so many followers. So many. The Neo Kalei limbs, holy cow, they're so popular on Twitch. They're amazing. And people just flock to them, and I can totally see why. They're amazing. They're awesome. Rafa, too. And Janelle and Fernando, all those folks. They're all like, they're all just like blowing up on this platform. Blowing up. Come on, baby, light my fire. 
yard Try to set the night on for the love oh December's falling asleep already cuz I'm so freaking boring my god I just put people to sleep I send them screaming from the room or I put them to sleep <sighs> well thank you for sharing Teresa I'm a really you know um, I'm a weird just bizarre acquired taste or something you know like just for the select few the select few <laughs> you know? So, I don't know. What does it say? What does it say about you? If you enjoy my stream and you come here all the time to my stream, what does it say about you? What do you think? What does it say about me? What does it say about you? I don't. I, I just want to know your thoughts. I just want, want to know. Like, what do you think? What's going on? What does it all mean? December said, OMG, I just had a vaccine! You did. You sure did. You put those big girl pants on. You pulled them all the way up to your boobies, just like I did on Monday. I know. I need to cut you some slack, December. You're probably not even going to be up to Fortnite, are you? I bet you're not. Because of your vaccine and all. I could never bore you, Julie. Are you sure? Oh, so you got to sleep through this stream so that you can play Fortnite later. No, 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 no. You sleep through my stream, no Fortnite. <laughs> I got it, Julie. I figured it out. What should we do? Love is a rose, but you better not pick it. Let's do it. It's Neil Young. Uh, Neil Young wrote the song. And Linda Rodstadt, I believe, covered it. And I sung this with Brighton before. I played the uke. Brighton played the guitar. We sung it together. Love is a rose, but you better not pick it. It only grows when it's on the line. Why am I singing bass again? I think I must have lost my mind. Love is a rose, but you better not pick it. It only grows when it's on the line. Handful of thorns and you'll know you missed it. Lose your love when you say the word mine Wanna see what's never been seen I wanna live that angel dream Come on girl, let's go together Let's take the best right now Take the best right now Love is a rose, but you better not pick it. It only grows when 
when it's on the spine Handful of thorns, you know you miss it Lose your love when you say the word mine That's right, folks. I will hate your wagon. Love is a road, but you never not pick it. Only grows when it's on the vine. And full of thorns, and you'll know you miss it. Lose your love when you say the word mine, 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 mine. Love is a road. So sorry for all your loss, Teresa. I do. I always tell you, Julie, every single time we stream Fortnite, I tell you, like immediately, like right as it happens, I tell you every single time, and I'm not about to stop now. Chris's mom helped count ballots. All right. Bowie? Crystal wants some David Bowie. David Bowie. Alright, we'll use a track for David Bowie. Bowie, Bowie. Bowie, Bowie. Carrie said she'd play Fortnite with me. Or were you talking to somebody else? Oh, you're saying you'll play you'll play Fortnite with December? You're not gonna you're not gonna punish her for sleeping on my stream? I <laughs> know, uh, you don't have to. I'm not either. I'm just kidding. Maybe. <laughs> hmm. do, 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 do. All the days it never rains, but it pours. No, no, people on the streets, people on the streets. Yeah, it's the terror of knowing what this world is about. Watching some good friends screaming, Let me out. 
out Pray tomorrow gets me higher and higher Pressure on people, people on the streets Turn away from it all like a blind man Set on a fence but it don't work Keep coming up with love but it's so slashed and torn Why? Pressure, we're cracking. Can we give ourselves one more chance? Why can't we give love that one more chance? Why can't we give love, 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 give love? Cause love's such an old fashioned word. And love dares you to care for the people on the edge of the night and love dares you to change your way of caring about ourselves this is our last dance this is ourselves under pressure under pressure Pressure <sighs> Julie, I don't know that Bat Midler song, and I don't ever watch Dancing with the Stars. So anything you see on there, don't, I'm not going to just know it because it's been on Dancing with the Stars, you know what I'm saying? I mean, there's a chance I might know it, but it won't be from there. Teresa, thank you for the love. Aww. So sorry about that, Teresa. So sad. December, I have a question for you before I forget. Now, Tafit was here earlier, and he redeemed a ticket for the raffle, but he lives in Guatemala. And so I wanted to try to give him those 500 points back, but I couldn't figure out how. I went into the points and I just, I couldn't see any way that you can give points to a person. Can you tell me how to do that, please? And then when Taffy comes back, I can see if I can give them back to him. That would be awesome. So, you want more Bowie? More Bowie, perhaps? Oh, it's almost 5 o'clock. We're going to be wrapping up shortly, aren't we? There's a star man waiting in the sky. Yeah, let's do that one. Go to the rewards queue. All right, let me look. Oh, wait, I didn't mean for it to start. Um... So I go to rewards. That's where I went. Viewer rewards. Okay. There's channel points, emotes, drops, and rewards. Go to rewards. Okay. Rewards. Open reward campaigns. All I see is three months of PC game pass under rewards. I don't see anything else under rewards. What does it mean? Is it manage rewards and challenges, custom rewards, default rewards? Do I create a new custom reward or something? What do I do? My setup must be different, but I wonder why. It seems like I should be able to give people pride to doodle points if I want to. Maybe I just I'm maybe I'm just not in the right spot or something. I don't know. Oh, this app, I gotta say, is so complicated, y'all. You have no idea. So complicated. The most complicated 
streaming app I've ever tried to use by far. And so that's why we're having so many issues because I just, I mean, I feel like I need a, a master's degree in um, some, some type of technology to be able to do this, like, you know, audio engineering or, or something to be able to handle all of this. Oh, it's so much. December, thank you. Taff will probably be back here. Hello, Ultimate Rio. How are you today? Happy Free For All Friday. All right, so I was going to do Starman, right? By David Bowie. Let's do it. Problem, Carrie. Didn't know what time it was. The lights were low. Oh, oh. I leaned back on my radio. Oh, oh. Some cat was laying down some rock and roll out of soul, he said. Then the loud sound it being seen to fade. And came back like a slow voice on a wave of things. That wasn't no DJ, that was Hazy Cosmic Jive. There's a star man waiting in the sky. He'd like to come and meet us, but he thinks he'd blow our minds. There's a star man waiting in the sky. He told us not to blow it. Cause he knows it's all worthwhile He told me Let the children lose it Let the children lose it Let all the children move It's only gonna be like 50 cents or something, Carrie. Thank you. I had to phone someone, so I picked on you. Ooh, ooh. Hey, that's far out, so you heard him too. Ooh, ooh. Switch on the TV, we may pick him up on channel two. Look out your window, I can see his light. If we can sparkle, he may land tonight. Don't tell your papa or he'll get us locked up in fright Oh, there's a star man waiting in the sky He'd like to come and meet us, but he thinks he'd blow our minds There's a star man waiting in the sky He told us not to blow it, cause he knows it's all worthwhile He told me let the children lose it, let the children use it, let all the children begin. Any song on any of my lists, I don't care if you request karaoke songs, Rio. I think, really, just request anything you want. But I'm going to be closing soon, I'm, you, you know, it's kind of the end of my stream. Knows it's all worthwhile, he told me, let the children lose it. Let the children use it, let all the children begin.
can request any song your heart desires. Any song. Doesn't have to be on anybody's list. If I know it, I'll sing it for you. Let's do Mac the Knife for Ultimate Rio. Ultimate Rio, no Mac the Knife. I don't know exactly what that means. You're saying no Mac the Knife, but you're asking me to sing Mac the Knife. So what's that about? You hate Mac the Knife, but you want to hear it anyway? I'm so confused by this. Mac the freaking Knife. And I think I've told you already that I don't know Ice Queen. I don't know Ice Queen at all. Don't know it. You've asked me for it like three streams in a row, and I still don't know it. And you know what? Next time you come, if you come back, I don't think I'm going to know it then either. Okay? Just, just so you know, I'm not going to know Ice Queen. Oh, the shark, babe, has such teeth, dear. Yeah, he shows them pearly white. Just a jackknife has a cave babe. And he keeps it out of sight. You know, when that shark bites, well, his teeth, babe. Scarlet billows start to spread. Fancy gloves, though, where's old Mac Heath, babe? So there's never, never a trace of red. Now on the sidewalk, huh, wah, Sunday morning, uh huh, there lies a body just losing life eat and someone sneaking around the corner could then someone be met the night oh here's a tugboat uh -huh. down by the river don't you know where a cement bag just a uh, dropping on down oh it's just it's there for the weight, dear. Five will get you ten. Oh, Mac is back in town. Now, did you hear about Louis Miller? He disappeared, babe. After drawing out all his hard earned cash. Now, Mac is just like a sailor. Quite a beat. Homeboys do something rash Oh, Jenny Diver Oh, Suki Tawdry Whoa, Miss Lottie Lanya And old Lucy Brown Oh, the line for Oh, I am the right, babe Now that Mackie's Back in town I said, Jenny Diver, whoa, Suki Tondre, look out to Miss Lottie Lanyon and old Lucy Brown. Yes, the line forms on the red Now the Mackies, back in town. Look out, old Mac is back. Yeah. Good grief, Julie. Good freaking grief. Hee haw, hee haw. Old Dominic the Christmas Donkey. Julie's ready for it. She's ready to do some hee hawing. Chair dancing and hee hawing. Hey, Jingity Jing. It's Dominic the Donkey on Jingity Jing. 
the Italian Christmas donkey. La 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 Santa's got a little friend whose name is Dominic The cutest little donkey, you never see him kid When Santa visits his eyes and so Dominic you'll be Cause the reindeer cannot climb the hills of Italy ding a dee ding it's Dominic the donkey, ding a dee ding The Italian Christmas donkey, la la la, la 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 di da da. Jingle bells around his feet and presents on the sled. Hey, look at the mayor's derby on top of Dominic's head. A pair of shoes for Louis and a dress for Josephine. The label on the inside says they're made in Brooklyn. Jing a dee jing. It's Dominic the donkey, jingity jing, the Italian Christmas donkey. La 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 Children sing and clap their hands and Dominic starts to dance. They talk Italian to him and he even understands. Comparis and Comparis do they dance at Tantarella. When Santa Nicola comes to town, brings you Cicciucciare, Jingity Jing! It's Dominic the donkey, Jingity Jing! The Italian Christmas donkey, la la la, la 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 la. La la la, la 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 da da da. Hey Dominic, buona Natale. Well, we did it. We did it. Okay, so I have to stop chair dancing with my legs because is trying to have a Charlie horse. It's trying to cramp up. I had a leg cramp early this morning. It was terrible. Just from trying to roll out of bed. And now, chair dancing, it's trying to start up again. And the only thing that really helps me is baking soda under my tongue. I grab a big bunch of it, I stick it under my tongue and let it dissolve there. And then after a few minutes, I can spit it out. So, I guess I'm gonna have to start bringing baking soda up here have some up here on hand. <sighs> You're welcome, Ultimate Rio Nomag the Knife. Thank you for the love, Teresa. Grab a book. Let's see if anything floats my boat. You're welcome, Rio. Alright, let's try a little Gautier. Sense. 
Will you say that we would still be friends? I'll admit that I was glad that it was over. She didn't have to cut me off. Thinking like it never happened, and now you were nothing. I don't even need your love, but you treat me. Guess that I don't need it though Now you're just somebody that I used to know Now you're just somebody that I used to know Now you're just somebody that I used to know Somebody I used to know Somebody I used to know Oh, no worries, Julie. Thank you for, thank you for sending me Twitch tip gifts from my Amazon wish list. Sure to appreciate it. And thank you for the bits. Carrie got her flu shot and her COVID booster. Yay! Carrie and I are boosted. December's boosted. Julie's boosted. Who else is boosted? Everybody boosted? Hope so. So, I see a couple of folks want spirit messages. We got Teresa with deck seven. We got Rio with deck 11, the 11th card. Because some folks just ought to be difficult, you know? <laughs> I don't know why. You are very welcome, Julie Marie. Were you were you hee hawing? I bet you were, like a little donkey. December's boosted. Teresa and Jean are boosted. That is a cute ghost. Cute little ghost. All right, well, we've got two spirit messages to do. Let's let's get to it. Hi. What did I do? What did I do with that thing? Where is it? There it is. There it is. Calm down, Chris. A 
know your insulin is double? Jesus Christ. On a freaking raft. I'm just about done with everything, man. Just about done with it all. It's just constant bad news after bad news. Every second. I don't know, Julia. It was not very much fun the last time we went. I kind of said I didn't really want to do it again after that. Alright. Teresa. Healing with the angels. Yeah, Julie. I know. It's just things are just getting worse and worse. Everything is just too much money and everything is horrible. It's, it's, it's really just bad. Just bad stuff all around. All right. Teresa, you got romance. Romance. The angels are addressing and assisting you with your romantic needs. Ask for and accept the angels' help with your love life. This card signifies that your angels have heard your appeals for romance. They acknowledge your heart's yearnings for love. They have received and answered your requests. Now you will work in concert with the angels to manifest the romance you are seeking. The angels will guide you in specific ways to ensure that they grant your wish. For instance, you may get a strong urge to drive to a certain place, and you might meet a wonderful partner when you arrive at that destination. The angel's guidance may ask you to engage in self-improvement activities such as exercise classes, nutritional practices, or self-help seminars. Follow this guidance and you will discover the romance you are seeking. Sounds like you already got it, right? And Ultimate Rio. Deck 11, Past Life Oracle Cards. Alright, let's shuffle them up. Yeah, right, Julie, right. Oh my goodness, this one just jumped out. Are you sure you don't want it? Because that usually means it's your card. You got Celtic. Means you got some Celtic, Celtic past life. Oh, you want the 11th card from the bottom. Okay, we'll skip the Celtic. Forget about the Celtic. Let's, let's just, oh my goodness, that one just jumped out too. You got a Celtic past life. You got a Greco-Roman past life. All right, let's just, all right, here we go. The 11th card from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Native American. I don't know why you keep talking about rigging. What do you mean rigging? If you think that I'm rigging these cards somehow, why are you here, man? It's just every day you want to talk about me rigging these cards. I just don't understand, man. I just don't. I'm doing the best I can. It's free. You don't have to give me any money. I'm doing this just out of the kindness of my heart. So maybe you could just um, be a little kinder, you know? This card signifies you have had an important past life as a Native American, which is connected to your current journey in this life. 
If you've been drawn to Native American artifacts, cultures, and spirituality, this is because they're familiar to your soul. Studying Native American teachings can help you awaken ancient memories and knowledge that you already have stored within you. This card can also signify indigenous cultures from other countries as well. Perhaps you have some hidden anger or pain because of a battle or loss during your time as an indigenous person. As with other past life traumas, a session with a qualified regressionist can help you heal this old energy. In this way, you can retain the lessons and love from that lifetime and release painful blocks. All right. So that's it for spirit messages. Today. Mm. Mm. Well, if I don't stand up for my myself, who will? All right, so I'm thinking three more songs. Three more songs. Teresa will. Teresa's standing up for me. Thanks, Teresa. All right. Taking three more requests from three separate people. Please and thank you. Oh, this light is giving off a lot of heat. It is... You want to see this light? It's Jen gave me this lamp. It's supposed to be a happy lamp. You're supposed to like gaze into it and just have it in your face and just get happy. Let's get happy. Let's get happy. It's supposed to mimic the sun. Make me happy, sun. Make me happy. It worked. I'm happy. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you, December. What are my three final songs going to be? Does anybody know? Does anybody care? Do you want me to pick them? I can pick them just fine. I can sing thousands of different songs. Thousands. Thousands. The Rose! Teresa's requesting the rose. Julie's requesting from a distance. Oh my goodness, Bette Midler! Should we do a triple shot of Bette Midler to close? Because you know, she's got some great songs for closing number! Rio says, Foo Fighters, Pretender, or is that a nope? I don't know it. I mean, I know the Foo Fighters, but I don't know Pretender. That's a nope. We could, we could do Close with the Glory of Love, perhaps. Well, let's see if Rio has a, a different request. We'll see how, see how this goes. All right, let's do the rose for Teresa. Some say love. I know you do, Julie. I know you do. Um. 
Some say love, it is a river Then drowns the tenderly Some say love, it is a razor Then leaves your soul to bleed some say love it is a hunger it is a seeking need I say love it is It's only seed It's the heart Afraid of breaking That never Learns to dance It's the dream Afraid of It's been too long And you think That love is only For the lucky And the strong Just remember In the winter Far beneath The bitter snow the scene that with the sun's love in the spring becomes the rose <sighs> that was for Teresa in Carson City, Nevada, USA Rio, I, I know Sting, but I don't know Shape of My Heart. I'm sorry. I could do maybe a possibly a different Sting song or a police song. I love me some police. I could do, I could definitely do some police for you. All right, we're going to do From a Distance, the Jews. Oh, that's in the same book. Social Justice, y'all. I sang this at Julie's church last week. Or was it two weeks ago? I don't know. So I'm not singing at your church this Sunday, but I am planning on going. But I am singing next week Sunday. No idea what yet, though. From a distance, the world looks blue and green, and the snow-capped mountains white. From a distance, the ocean meets the stream. 
And the eagle takes to flight From a distance there is harmony And it echoes through the land It's the voice of hope It's the voice of peace It's the voice of air From a distance, we all have enough, and no one is in need. And there are no guns, no bombs, and no COVID-19, no hungry mouths to feed. And from a distance, we Watching in a common band We're playing songs of hope We're playing songs of peace They are the songs of every pride to do it all And God is watching us God is watching us God is watching us from a distance And God is watching us God is watching us God is watching us From a distance From a distance You look like my friend Even though From a distance, I just get a comprehend what all this fighting is for. Oh, indeed. And from a distance, there is harmony, and it echoes through the land, and it's the hope of. It's the heart of everyone It's the hope of hopes It's the love of loves This is the song of everyone And God is watching us God is watching us God is watching us from a distance Oh, God is watching us God is watching us God is watching us From a distance Who's popping in? I can't even read that. Oh, it's Pam Jams. It's that neon green. Hi, Pam. How are you? Nice to see you. Yeah, we are going to be ramping things up here real soon. Okay, so Rio, you had a request, I do believe. Let's scroll up here and see if we can find it. I don't know who that Hector person is. Oh, a bot. Yeah, we don't we don't like those bots around here. Let's just we'll just ignore Hector. Queen, I want to break free. Or is that cliche? Well, what would make it cliche? I have no idea. Um, that one is not one of my best Queen songs, I don't think. Oh, December banned him. Banned that little bot. <laughs> Thanks, December. I want to break free. That might be the only line I know of the song. I know a lot of Queen songs, but that's not really on my list. Um, but I could try it. I could try it. I'm probably just going to be making half of it up. Mm -hmm. 
Do I have a Butter Queen song? Oh, I have a ton of Butter Queen songs that I could do. I could do Don't Stop Me Now. I could do Crazy Little Thing Called Love. I could do We Are the Champions. I could do Fat Bottom Girls. I could do We Will Rock You. I could do Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, Somebody to Love, perhaps. I already did Under Pressure. I could do Another One Bites the Dust. Any of those Queen songs. So let's do a Queen song. Tell me which Queen song you'd like, and then we'll close with The Glory of Love. Because it's an excellent closing number. We will rock you would be lovely, Ultimate Rio says. All right. We will rock you. All right. Chair dance with me, y'all. And what do I mean by chair dance? Move your booties. Body your boy, make a big noise playing in the street. Gonna be a big man someday. You got mud on your face, you big disgrace. Kicking your can all over the place, singing, We will, we will rock you. We will, we will rock you. Buddy, you're a young man, hard man, shouting in the street, gonna take on the world someday. You got blood on your face, you big disgrace, waving your banner all over the place. We will, we will rock you, sing it! We will, we will rock you! Buddy, you're an old man, poor man, pleading with your eyes, gonna make you some peace someday. You got mud on your face, you big disgrace. Somebody better put you back into your place. We will, we will rock you. Sing it. We will, we will rock you. Everybody. We will, we will rock you. All right. Nope. Never heard of it. Never heard of the breaded axe. The breaded axe? It's an axe with like loaves of bread stuck on it or something. I would love to throw some axes. I just hope they don't have Wonder Bread on them. <laughs> Although it might be funny, it might be for, good for some laughs. I would, I would like to go and throw some axes, though. I, you know, I am becoming more and more athletic in my old age, and I am open to new athletic experiences, and that includes axe throwing. It really does. True, the axe probably doesn't care if it's got bread on it. <laughs> I just don't understand the point. <laughs> so hey, it's free for all Friday, y'all. That means it's the weekend. I hope y'all are going to have a wonderful weekend. I'll be back here on Monday, Karaoke Monday, 3 p.m. And let me remind you, I have a brand new stream coming on Tuesdays at 12 p.m. Eastern. And it is story time, starting with Dada Veda's memoir. Now, if y'all want to check it out, it's at dadaveda.com. Now, I'm going to be reading that memoir. I don't know how much. Maybe an hour. I don't know. Chapter? Two chapters? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes this Tuesday at 12 o'clock Eastern. That's 11 o'clock Central. And then, I don't know. Let's see how it goes, right? And then, of course, we'll be back to Free For All Friday. Free For All Friday. Karaoke Monday. 3 p.m. Eastern. Storytime Tuesday. 12 p.m. Eastern. And for the locals, we got Coffee Chat this Tuesday. At two. All right, for my grand finale, let's do the glory of love. By the amazing Bet Midler. And don't forget my contest. We got a giveaway. Do I need a raid target? No, I don't need a raid target. I don't. Auburn. Auburn is on, is live. We're going to raid Auburn, Auburn music. She's fabulous. 
That's who we're going to rain today. Okay, the glory of love. This is a song I've been singing for a long time. It's like an old friend. But you know, I think it's only recently that I discovered what it's really about. You've got to give a little, take a little, and let your poor heart break a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of life. Got to laugh a little, cry a little until the clouds roll by a little. That's the story of, that's the glory. for being here today appreciate your support everybody well you're very welcome Rio well I hope you all have an amazing weekend and I hope to see you back here Monday. Let's raid Auburn, shall we? Let's do it. Start raid. Ready to raid. Getting ready to raid. Somebody's going to win this plushie this month. Who's it going to be? We've got raffles. Raffles in the fishbowl. All right. Seven viewers are ready to raid. Let's do this. Tell Auburn, Chris Pride sent you. It's a Pride Raid. Peace out, Pratadoodles. <laughs>